Hello, I hope you're having a great day. So I'm getting ready to harvest my snapdragons. Yay. I do have, um, I think, a bouquet or two to make today. I need to check again. And I'm just going to harvest as much as I can. Make some bouquets and hopefully get to pulling weeds. But that hasn't been happening. I wonder if that's because I don't want it to happen. Or if I've actually been too busy to do it. <laughs> anyway... Uh, it looks like I'll have a lot of snapdragons back there. I'll take a picture of my bucket when I'm done. And hopefully I will just get it done. My adoratum is all blooming again in case you're wondering. The only thing I've noticed is where I cut it up higher with my hedger, the stems are shorter. And where I cut it off lower with my hedger, the stems are longer. So I'll probably go shorter next time. But for those of you that are following me, you'll remember I cut all of this off. And there was no purple at all. And now it's all starting to bloom again. And some of the stems are longer. Like this is a long stem. Um, but some of them are just short because they just came off of the growth that I already cut. So they're not bad though. They're still pretty. I would like to get to some of this and get it in the cooler because it lasted a week to two weeks in the cooler. And it's a really pretty color for fall. Another gorgeous bucket of snapdragons. Yay! They're really producing, and some of them are really, really tall. Like, check it out. So, they're tall. <laughs> Very long stems. Actually, longer than my entire arm. <laughs> Love them. They're awesome. They're so pretty. My Lysianthus is a little short, but still beautiful. And there's a whole bucket of it. It's coming back. All right, I got a bucket of Adjuratum with Dusty Miller mixed in. I think these are gonna be really pretty. This honeybee is just filled up with pollen on the little pollen legs or whatever that is that they fill it up with. A bucket of gorgeous sunflowers. A beautiful bucket of orange and white gomfrina. I don't know if anyone else had this problem, but the mahogany splendor hibiscus lasts like four days and then it wilts. And then I did boil some of it and then it did last longer, but then I forgot I was testing it and I threw it away. So I still need to test that again. But I don't like anything that I can't recut and position in a vase without having to like boil it or do anything like that first. I don't know, maybe it just seems like unnecessary. And I should plant a bunch of these at the farm because these look amazing in the bouquets and they last a long time. They don't even wilt before the flowers. So that's the kind of foliage I want. Um, drop in the comments if you know something to do with mahogany splendor hibiscus or if there's a trick to it because I don't think I'll grow it next year. I'm not one that likes to have to boil things because I end up like cutting it and like moving it around in a vase and then I have to reboil it and I forget and then it's wilty and it just, ugh. but anyway, I ended up, um, I ran up to Des Moines because I was looking for some like fall colored vases. I don't really have any and all of my plastic vases aren't really fall colored. 
at the farmer's market and I've noticed that people are wanting the fall colors, even though I don't think fall is until like September 22nd. I think people are starting to get their homes ready. I did find some cute things that I am going to do a little bit of testing with tomorrow and I will show you what I put together for the bouquets. I might end up using just the non-pink and the non-blue plastic vases. Those seem to go fine now. They didn't go all summer and now they're like the first to go because I think they go better with the oranges and the burgundies. To me, I like September's a burgundy month, but in October's orange, but I don't think that everybody thinks the way I do. <laughs> so anyway, tomorrow will be farmer market day and I have a lot harvested. I can harvest a lot of zinnias. I got a big order for a florist on Monday. And Tuesday, I'm actually going and speaking in front of the garden club, which I am not very good at public speaking. So it's making me nervous already. And it's only Thursday. I should probably practice what I'm going to say. I usually just kind of tell like my life story and how I came to be a flower farmer and then talk about the flower farm. And most of that doesn't need to be like an organized speech because it's kind of the flow of my life. So I should just know that in my head, right? <laughs> but then I get up in front of people and I'm like, what, did, what, what, did, what, who am I? What did I do? <laughs> so I do probably need to practice that um, by next Tuesday and Monday's the florist order. So videos might be a little bit shorter, but I am going to print off my list of all of my items and go through it and decide what was a winner this year, what was a loser, what I want to do next year, and I need to start planning out my garden. I never even ordered my allium bulbs, um, and it's getting to be the time that you put them in probably in a month or two, so I need to probably get on that. I do have my tulip bulbs on order. Hopefully they're coming soon and I don't run into what I did last year. We will see. But anyway, I did harvest a lot of flowers today. I made a couple of bouquets. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the beautiful blooms and I hope you have a great day.